There are those in the Empire that would see us not sign this treaty, who have harbored resentment and hatred for so long that their side is clouded. We have defeated our mutual enemies and are united to pave the way to a more prosperous future, one where we can ensure that no force will deter us. Our new home, Rahansu, is a bright gem in the darkness. Our past is but a shadow across her face, but daybreak has not yet come, and so a shadow can still rise from the dark. Why haven't they finished us? A logical question, Commander. Their movements suggest the instincts of a predator. They may be probing for the weakest target. I think they found it. We are all getting out of here, Commander. Is your phaser still functioning? Erratically. Captain's log. Stardate 99336.22. The Phoenix, such as she is, has reached Katrasi Prime, the last known coordinates of our diplomatic shuttle. It's been two days since we received word from Commander John that they were responding to a distress call from the planet. Long-range scans show no hostile activity in the area. More of a relief than I can say since my ship is in no shape for combat. Commanding a starship without a bridge is like sailing without a tiller. Entering the neutral zone in such conditions seems like madness, but the Phoenix is the only ship in the sector. Trusting that our friends on the other side of the border won't respond with force is unsettling at best. Priority now is to find our people. Mr. Cargo. Status. We have repair teams working on all shifts, Captain. And we're transferred full command, navigation, and tactical to engineering. How long before I have my bridge back? Sir, we've only now been able to shore up... That's guess, Lieutenant. Four to six weeks, assuming that we get back to Lagoa Station quickly. Time to end those pips, Mr. Kako. DeSoto to Dr. Solon. I need you in sick bay level two immediately. Count on it, sir. Captain, here's a damage report. Computer to Major Natiris. Please report to transport room four. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Solera. Looks like we're going to be guests in engineering for a while. We'll do our best to make you feel at home, sir. Home? Would be on a sailboat with the wind at my back. Can you do that? Sir? Never mind. Just do what you can to help Cargo get us out of your head and back on my bridge. Captain, the security team is ready to transport, but we're picking up areas that sense a distortion on the surface. It's difficult to confirm a sat lock. Sir, I should handle the transport. Fair enough. Any sign of the diplomatic team? Negative. We've detected a whole fragment of the shuttle, but the same distortion is making it hard to track any life signs. Looks like we'll have to find them the old-fashioned way. Sir. Request permission Denied. to join- Denied. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Lieutenant, but I need you on the helm. We might have to leave in a hurry. Aye, sir. <sighs> I was under the impression I would have more of a say. Well, now would be a good time to unburden yourself of such an assumption. I had no idea what you were getting me into, did I? You didn't need to. The Ascension Project was your mission and you did your duty. 
You did a hell of a job, too. And my reward is to let the politicians pick my crew? What did you think was going to happen here, Captain? The Phoenix is not just another Starfleet vessel. It's in a unique position. Politically, culturally, strategically. There's not a politician within two quadrants who doesn't want his fingers on the ship. Wonderful. I'll just stay in my ready room, and you and the politicians can run the ship remotely. It'll be very restful. For God's sakes, Bryce. You don't get everything you want your first time through the gate. There's a much bigger picture here, Bryce. I'm asking you to be patient. A pawn. Excuse me? You're asking me to be another pawn in your political game of chess. Well, considering how hard your damn head is, I'd say you were more like a rook. Chess involves sacrifice. How many of your pieces end up being casualties, Admiral? Once the perimeter is secure, I'll signal for the captain and doctor. Initiate dispersal pattern delta. I have the last known coordinates of Commander Jarn's team. However, there are several areas of distortion preventing transport. I'm sending you down just outside the affected area. Understood. Ready all weapons. Set phasers to stun. Lieutenant! What happened? Our new buddies aren't leaving after all. What do you mean? There's going to be a saber force assigned to the Phoenix indefinitely. And they're bringing on more of them. What? Why? It's been more than a month since the attack. They're just sitting around doing nothing. Apparently the attack on Libertas Station has destabilized the diplomatic situation, requiring extraordinary measures. Dispatch a security team to Deck 17. Is that what the captain said? He delivered the news. I don't think it was his decision. Well, they have been very professional. Lena, that's not the point. Saber? Special Assault and Battle Recon Excursion? Does that sound like Starfleet to you? They don't belong on a starship. This is Starfleet Intelligence messing with the captain's security decisions. Lieutenant No Run. It's Neron. Looks like we're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. Yes, Major Croft. The captain informed me. I want to make sure my people work seamlessly with your security teams. I'm assigning a liaison officer to coordinate with you directly. Lieutenant! Alti Natira, enemy engagement specialist. Enemy engagement and liaison officer? You'd be surprised how often the two skills overlap. Wormhole is stable. Ready. Transport. <laughs> Clear. 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 Natira to Phoenix. Perimeter is clear. We have a go. Come so prisoner. It was too close. What if I had been on the bridge? Did you think there would be a risk in your position here? Has anything changed? 